Ken Trahan with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by First NBC Bank. Right behind us with 31 locations throughout the greater New Orleans area, including the transcontinental branch here at the corner of Veterans Boulevard and Transcontinental in Metairie. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNOAA.com. Locations everywhere. Check them out as we are today. Of course, it's a busy football weekend. First and foremost, Tulane back in action in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome on Saturday against a perennially tough opponent in Tulsa that's giving them all kinds of troubles over the years. But uh, this is a better Tulane team and perhaps not as good a Tulsa team as we're accustomed to seeing, Lenny. And in spite of that, if you go by the odds makers, Tulsa is the favorite. And it doesn't necessarily mean Tulsa is the better team. It's all about perception. And like you say, Tulsa has dominated Tulane ever since they've come into Conference USA eight years ago. This is clearly the biggest game on the schedule for Tulane for a couple of reasons. One, it's the next one, the coach speak. But but secondly, that big hump, that that hurdle. You know, Tulane's played East Carolina well over the years. And that, so that win two weeks ago while it was big, and East Carolina is arguably the best team in Conference USA this year, you know, was significant for that reason. But this is a Tulsa team, like we said, that hasn't just beaten Tulane. They have dominated Tulane over the last eight years. To get this one, to get that sixth one, to get bowl eligible, to stay undefeated in the league would just be huge. Well, it would be, and we'll find out if they're able to get over the hump. Devin Walker, of course, will be in attendance, as he is at each game, and it bears significance because it was against Tulsa last year that he suffered uh, the very tragic injury that he incurred and, of course, this is no fault of Tulsa's, but still, the memory is there. And certainly, this game will be dedicated to him by the Tulane players and staff. LSU, off of a very disappointing loss against Ole Miss, goes out of conference to take on Furman. Not a terrible team by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly a team that LSU should get well against. They should. And uh, then they get an off week, and then they get to get ready for Alabama with another off week after that. So, it's... Uh yeah, you know, schedule spacing out a little bit here for LSU. Just four games left in the regular season. Furman, Alabama, A and M, and Arkansas. And you, know, you you get this one. You get a chance to ideally play a few people, and then you get ready for Alabama. Which, like we talked about the other day, a win there, and I think that changes things a little bit. There's still a long way to go in this college football season. You know, half of the top ten lost last week. You get another event like that happening, boom, LSU's back in the top ten again and suddenly back in a, a Sugar Bowl or a BCS Bowl discussion. We'll see. Obviously, this is a game they must have moving forward, and they should get it. The New Orleans Saints are back in action Sunday in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome against the Buffalo Bills, who have a pretty good defense, and they're a worthy team. Now, with a bye week, you would think the Saints would have gotten healthier, but that's really not the case, Lenny. No, I would be very surprised if Jimmy Graham plays on Sunday at this point. I think they will. Uh, I think they will hold him. Uh, you know, some of the other ones, Lance Moore, practiced fully on Thursday, so hopefully he is back in there and obviously is one of Drew Brees' most dependable receivers uh, to be able to find. Uh, hopefully, Marcus Colston is a little bit healthier coming off the bye. So. Uh, you know, some of those people coming back, you know, it's going to be interesting. One of the things I think we're all going to be watching for on Sunday is how do the Saints treat the running back position? Is Mark Ingram healthy? And if he is, how much is he used? Uh, you know, what about Kyrie Robinson? Is he a factor in this? Do they have four running backs up to to be able to, to throw in in a mix? Or is somebody just going to be a, a healthy scratch? We'll find out on Sunday. Of course, high school football, our first NBC Prep Showcase off this week, back next week. But, of course, you can follow every high school game score Friday night through our scoreboard at sportsnola.com in conjunction with Ken Trahan's original prep football report on WGSO 990 AM, WGSO.com, and throughout the state on various stations. The scoreboard at sportsnola.com is the best up to the minute. All during the course of the evening, you will get the scores with the color logos of the schools and the quarters, and you won't want to miss it. If you like high school football, that's the place to be. Yeah, absolutely. No other place to go. See that little link up there that says preps? Just click on that, and you can uh, you can see the scoreboard uh, and, and go to it and keep up with it uh, all night long, uh, Friday night, and even you know, Thursday and Saturday with the other games that are going on as well. And I know there's some, some great games on the card this weekend. Yeah, week eight as we get closer to the playoffs, and Lord knows what that's going to bring with nine different championship classes. Lenny, as always, a pleasure. Thanks for the visit. Hey, we'll see you on Monday. That's our first NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by first nbc bank proud sponsor of sportsnoah.com 31 locations throughout the greater new orleans area including this location the transcontinental branch on the corner of veterans and transcontinental boulevard in 
Metairie. For Lenny, I'm Kenny. Have a great weekend, and God bless you.